Hey guys, it's Sean from Print Tees, and we're back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about digital printing, the ins and outs of DTG, DTF, the pros and cons of each, when to use it, and why to use it. All right, so let's talk about DTG. There's a lot of great things about DTG, and there's a lot of limitations as well. So basically, it does exactly the same thing as your home printer. Instead of printing on paper, it prints onto your shirts. We need to apply a fixation or pre-treat onto your garment to make sure that the ink adheres perfectly on the shirt and stays there for a long time. That pre-treat or fixation might leave stains or marks on your shirt before they're washed. So that's a great thing you want to check um, and make sure you're ordering your shirts that are not leaving marks or not leaving stains. Your printer is exactly going to know what doesn't work and what leaves mark, what doesn't leave marks. So ask your questions before ordering t-shirts with DTG. DTG, if you ask me and you're doing vector prints, I prefer screen printing, but if you don't have that volume, try to, to eliminate the, uh, the reds, the greens, the flash greens, the, the bright yellows. DTG is not great for vector printing with high punching colors. It's not gonna be super vibrant like screen printing. Other great thing that DTG does is high detail images. We can print 1200 DPIs by 1200 DPIs. That's unheard of when you're looking at screen printing. Screen printing, you're about 75 to 77 lines per inch, and that's your really awesome screen printer um, that are capable of doing that. Most screen print shop print with 45 lines per inch. You can look at it lines per inch or DPIs. It's very similar. Um, so when you're looking at DTG that's doing 1200 DPIs compared to 45 or 75 line per inch, um, it's massive. The quality you're gonna obtain with high feet detailed images, it's unheard of compared to screen printing. So if you want really high detail images and you have a lot of colors in your design, you have fades, um, DTG is a great option for you. The other thing that you want to look at is what type of garment are you going to print on. 100% cotton or 50-50 blends are super vibrant prints. The prints are going to be outstanding, they're going to be super um, nice to the feel, touch, touch hand feel as well and they're not going to bleed. When you're looking at 50-50 blends that are cheaper on the cheaper side or 100% poly shirts, they tend to bleed after being printed. So when you put them in the oven and the ink cures in the oven, normally your whites are gonna fade and, and if you're printing on a red shirt, for example, it's gonna be pinkish. If you're printing on black shirt, they're gonna go and look gray and dull. So DTG on polyester, 50-50 blend, gild in hoodies, it's quite hard to do. And you wanna ask your, your printing partner or buy some samples and see for yourself if that passes your quality test. Now DTF printing. This is quite new. DTF is exactly your DTG printing machine, except instead of printing onto your shirt, it prints onto a transfer paper that's then gelled with glue in an oven. Um, it's not fully cured for us to after be able to cut it and go apply it onto your shirt exactly where we want it. There's a lot less limitations with DTF because you can place your designs wherever you want on your shirt. The only limitation you have is the plants you have on your heat press. So if you're starting with DTF or you're starting with, with your screen printing brand or you want names, numbers onto your shirts, DTF is a great way to go. There's also no limitations as for polyester, cotton, it goes on any type of shirts, even nylon material because it cures at a very low temperature. You also don't need pretreatment for DTF compared to DTG, which is great. There's never going to be any ghost images around your, your design because there's no fixation or pre-treating. The downside of DTF, very similar to DTG, we can't accurately match Pantone colors. So if you're looking for, the, for those vibrant reds and vibrant greens, bright blues, it's not the greatest printing method to use that. I would definitely go with screen printing if you're looking for to have those exact Pantone colors and that vibrancy that you have with screen printing. So we briefly talk about DTG and DTF. Boat machines are great for one-offs, are great for high detailed images, but if you're looking for that bulk pricing and that really low discounts, you might want to go and check for screen printing. But for samples, it's a great way to go, either machines or either printing methods. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or hit us up. We'll be more than happy to help. Have a great day, guys.